bright duty every student matters in figure abcd is a parallelogram so this line is parallel to this line this line is parallel to this line here prove that area of abcd is equal to area of efcd so this is something that we have just proved that in quadrilateral abcd and efcd right what can we say that these quadrilaterals lie on same base and you can be specific also because these are parallelograms so these are parallelograms okay anyways if two quadrilaterals lie on same base and between same parallel lines then what will happen is if one of the sides is equal to the opposite side then this will become a parallelogram but this is a case specifically for parallelograms because rectangle is also a parallelogram okay so these parallelograms lie on same base dc and between same parallels or same parallel lines eb and dc hence it is enough to say this much is enough to say that area of abcd will be equal to area of efcd as per the theorem that we have just proved so we can say we know that area of parallelograms on same base and between same parallel lines are equal so you can mention that theorem here so first part is proved now look at the second part area of abcd is equal to dc into al okay so if you look at this al this is nothing but distance between these two parallel lines or if you notice this angle is 90 degrees so you can also say this is height of this parallelogram right or you can also say that this is one of the sides of rectangle because it is equal to this as the angles of rectangle are 90 degrees each so these two lines are also parallel hence al is equal to ed okay so now area of abcd area of abcd which is a rectangle which is a parallelogram is equal to base into height hence it is equal to if i take base dc and height as al then it will be equal to area of abcd if you want to prove it in terms of rectangle let us say you consider this rectangle first efcd efcd in rectangle efcd angle d is 90 degrees right and line al is parallel to line ed so ed is parallel to al and we already know that ef is parallel to dc ef is parallel to dc hence eald is a rectangle why because opposite sides are parallel and one of the angles is 90 degrees hence this is a rectangle so what you can say about al and ed ed and al are equal right and area of rectangle efcd is equal to cd into ed base into height right and now you can say that ed is equal to al so you replace it by al so area of rectangle efcd is equal to cd into al and we know that area of rectangle efcd is equal to area of parallelogram 
ABCD. Hence, area of ABCD is also equal to CD into AL, right? So, these are the ways you can proceed with this example here. If a triangle and a parallelogram are on the same base and between the same parallels, then prove that area of the triangle is equal to half the area of the parallelogram. Let us say these are the triangles. This is the triangle, triangle ABP and parallelogram ABCD. Okay, look at this figure now. Look at this triangle ABP. So, point P or the vertex P of this triangle lies on this line here, which is parallel to this line. So, these two lines are parallel. If I draw a line BQ, which is parallel to AP, so draw BQ parallel to AP, right? This is construction. And I already know that AB is parallel to QP. So, can I say that AB QP is a parallelogram? Yes. And I know that ABCD is another parallelogram. ABCD is another parallelogram on same base AB and between same parallel lines AB and CP. Hence, area of parallelogram ABQP is equal to area of parallelogram ABCD. Why I am finding the area of parallelogram ABQP? Because I know the triangle ABP will have half the area of parallelogram ABQP because if we have got a parallelogram let us say this diagonal will divide it into two equal areas. This we already know by SSS congruence. Why? Because this side is equal to this side because they are opposite sides of a parallelogram. Similarly, this side is equal to this side. These are also opposite sides of a parallelogram and this side is common to both these triangles. So, by SSS congruence criterion, these two triangles are congruent and hence have equal areas. So, if area of ABQP is equal to area of ABCD, then what can I say about half of area of ABQP? It will be equal to half of area of ABCD. Now, half of area of ABQP is nothing but our triangle here ABP. So, area of triangle ABP is half of area of quadrilateral ABCD. Okay. 